Alright guys, how's it going? Now, if you're a regular viewer of the channel, you'll probably realise that I don't generally review commercial add-ons. I generally try and stay to the free add-ons, just for convenience reasons. But every now and again, there's an absolute gem that comes out. And this is a Sculpt Wheel add-on. It's available for $9, by the time you add in VAT slash tax, it's roughly around 12 And I'll tell you straight away, it's worth the investment. Now I feel kind of connected to this product for no other reason than I've basically watched it grow up from day one. <laughs> I have nothing to do with the product, I'm not sponsored by the developer, and because it's a commercial plugin, I'm going to be that little bit more critical. Now the reason I say this is, I actually remember the right click select post, and a user was basically asking, can we have a pie menu for sculpting mode? And within two or three days, JF had started developing a kind of prototype. So over the last few weeks, I've watched the product grow and it's absolutely phenomenal to be honest. So we'll take a quick look. Now once you have the add-on installed, you're inside of sculpt mode, all you need to do is hold in the spacebar and it brings up this gorgeous pie menu. And straight away, you can see how intuitive it is, you can see how easily it is to get to brushes, you don't need to remember shortcuts, you don't need to come over here to the UI on the left hand side. Everything is just there at your fingertips. Now you may notice that this wheel is pretty damn big to be honest, but one thing you can do is you can come to the properties, you can go to wheel setting, and you can actually reduce the wheel radius. Now, I'll put it down to 128 and it becomes much more compact. So this gives you more screen space in order to work, and it just feels a little bit more tidier. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put it back up to 180 just to give you a better view. Now the reason I actually bought this product was the customization options. So if I actually hold in the spacebar, click here to edit, I can easily move the order of brushes. So I can actually build my own pie menu. If I expand the sculpt wheel options here, you can see the tool set and you can see custom buttons. So we can dive even further into the customization options. Now you may have noticed that there's a kind of dot up here. So if I actually click on new tool set, let's call this my tools. Let's select a brush and add the active brush and hold down spacebar, you can see I now have two different menus. So this is phenomenal. It means you can actually build your own menus. Perfect. Now, in the inner circle, you can see we have stroke settings, mask smooth, mask sharp, mask clear, remesh settings. But you can also change the list here. Now, one thing that I'll be critical about is, I wish this was actually a context sensitive list. So when I actually switch to this one, I could have a different list. But beggars can't be choosers. Another thing that I'll actually pick up on is if you move around, you'll see the UI slightly jump. See it there? Now, I don't think this is a developer's fault. I think it's actually a UI scaling issue, and I don't think it can be avoided. But overall, it's really not distracting. And one of the main things I absolutely love about this product is the pad. I can move the strength of the brush up. If I push it up, I can move the size. To me, that is absolutely worth $9 just on its own. Now I use a Huon tablet, so it just makes sculpting so much easier. And that's pretty much it for the add-on. There's no gimmick, it just works, it sells itself. Now one thing that I actually seen the developer, he actually had a colour wheel in the middle of the pie menu, and I hope that gets brought in. In fact, I hope this actually turns into a whole tool set, so it'll work in texture painting, it'll work in modelling and it'll let you build your own circular pie menus. So just to give a quick recap, you can create custom buttons, you can have even your own icon, so if you're not happy with the blender icons, you can switch them out, you can change the operator types, you can have custom preset, it's pretty damn good to be honest. Is it worth the $9? Definitely. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, support me in Gumroad, you know what to do. Take care.